So, last class we, we saw what was an Alex net. Uh, we will also see a few others because these are the ones that are very well known and uh, you know it is important to at least know what they do I mean uh, and uh, what sort of what sort of new ideas right did those new ones I mean okay. So, as as kind of years advanced right people <coughs> people you know incorporated new new things. So, we just want to see right what those new aspects are with respect to these uh, you know the, uh, deep networks. So, the so the one right that we saw last was Alex net which had a 16.4 sort of a top 5 ok. This is a top 5 accuracy it basically means that the the right label that you are looking for is is appearing at least in the in the say top 5 ok. The I mean top 1 could be a little lower ok. Now, the I mean uh, prior to this VGG right which is a very very important sort of you know a deep net prior to that right in between this Alex net and VGG there was another network called the ZF net. Okay, that is the one that has this 11.7. I uh, you know it's called uh, ZF after Zeller and Fergus. Okay, Rob uh, Fergus. It's a 2013 Okay, 2013 network. So this is actually the ZF net. Okay, goes after the author names Zeller and Fergus. And uh, you know, <coughs> uh, just to know as to what they did. Right? I mean, they were able to, they were able to you know bring down the bring down the error from 16.4 to 11.7 and uh, they actually followed exactly whatever was there in AlexNet except that it was mainly a mainly a you know, tuning of the hyperparameters. Hyperparameters in the sense that some of the things right that they actually did was if you if you kind of if you sort of say recall uh, in AlexNet the first layer had the filters of size 11 cross 11 with a stride of 4 right. Now, that they changed now again you know they just tried a few things and what they did was they 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 took 7 cross 7 stride 2 okay, then uh, in you know so this was with respect to the first layer okay this is the con 1 1 layer right so this is all with respect to zf net that i'm saying right now and then with respect to con 3 4 and 5 okay if you if you again say recall we had filters of the size 384 and all that right now instead of that uh, they made it like 512 one zero two four five twelve again these are number of channels number of feature maps so i think last time we had 384 384 256 something like that right with respect to alexnet now these people kind of played around with those numbers and found out that if you use more feature maps instead of uh, using what alexnet had done okay but architecture is still the same but architecture in the sense that the, the basic sort of skeleton is still the same but uh, in terms of the number of feature maps and uh, sort of the filters that you are applying right those were changed. Well no I think you know this has about 1.5 million more. So, if you look at I mean, that was about 60, 60 million parameters right. So, this comes to around 61.5 this and million parameters it is just just a little bit above. Uh, but then for that 1.5 million extra that you are that uh, you know that you are incurring, but then you see drop is uh, drop is quite significant right. I mean that is the reason why it should also be mentioned that is why I am not skipping it ok. So, top error top 5 error is 11.7 uh, percent and uh, yeah. So, I think compare this with uh, 60 million from say Alex net ok, but well, yeah but then other than that right they did not change anything I mean, there were no new ideas right, that were actually brought in just that. So, it is mainly mainly you know hyper parameters playing around with the hyper parameters as I said right hyper hyper this and parameters not just includes weighting the cost function and so on, but also includes how many channels you have per layer how many layers you want all those are hyper parameters ok. So, ok then we will move on to the next one which is actually VGG ok which uh, Okay, which came from the Oxford group. Okay. So, I will write this as VGG net, okay, it is called VGG net. Okay, this is visual geometry group, okay, that is that is the expansion for this group uh, from Oxford. Huh. The authors and all it, it's easy for you to find out. I mean, it's actually a very uh, well-known person, uh, as is a man, right? And uh, and a student. Okay, and a student, Simone Yan. Okay, that's a student's name. Now, 
this VGG nitride, let us just see okay, what, it, what it looks like, let us just go back and see right, what it looks like. So, one of the things right that you see is that it is actually a, a deeper network because Alex net as well as ZF net they have about they had about 8 layers right at that time when we talked about. Now, this has this is about 16 to actually you know 19 layers. In fact, I mean you also have you know sometimes they write this as VGG 11, uh, VGG 13, right, VGG 16 and VGG 19 okay. So, so you have all kinds of or each one of the means that 11 layers, 13 layers, 16 layers, 19 layers and so on. And this figure is not exactly correct okay, because somewhere I think some layers are missed out okay. So, for example, right, if you look at VGG 16, if I count 1, 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 right, there is one, one sixteenth layer that is I think you know that should have been somewhere here, there is actually a convolution, one more convolution that has been left out. But that is ok, I mean you know, so I think you know those are minor things. So, if you if you really try to count, I mean the 16 does it match and all, it will match, I mean so there is a small error okay, in these figures. But then the idea is, is to just to just see as to what they have done right. Now, one of the things, uh, so as compared to 8 layers in AlexNet, I mean now you are kind of say you know, now it is a it is a kind of a more deep net, you know it is a deeper network. Uh, you know with 16 to kind of say 19 layers and uh, this has actually become an become an important sort of a network because you know when trained on this image net okay of course all these were actually not done with respect to a challenge right that is that that is that first challenge that bar chart that i showed you that is that you know large scale image sort of say recognition challenge which means that all these had to be trained on that you know image net which is a big database and you have to show that you have to show how well you are doing on that now it turns out that you know that uh, original sort of a database which is image net Okay, when you when you when you train these uh, this VGG net or for that matter LX net and all when you train it, what happens is the output features that you get. But one is that you simply take that network, you do a classification. But then the you know interesting thing is that before uh, so you could also use the feature representation, right? That is emerging from from this kind of uh, from these architectures. For example, right? You can even look at the con features, right? That are appearing here, or for example, right? Prior to the prior to the last layer, right? I mean the, the FC four zero nine six, right? At that point of time, right? What kind of features you are having? It could be that you know some of those features are so very useful for for let us say other tasks when you want to do do a kind of a representation. So, no, it is for example, you know people have used you know uh, a VGG network to do style transfer and all. This turns out that you know people have figured out that those features are even important for certain other applications okay. So, whereas you know when they were actually built they were primarily built for a classification challenge as well as there is a detection segmentation things like that. So, these are all built for such challenges, but then it turned out that such networks after training that means you do not have to retrain them you always have the option to retrain if you have enough number of examples ok you can always retrain. But then even without retraining if you simply had the network with pre trained weights right that is what that is what it is called it is called pre trained weights that means somebody for example right, these authors have themselves trained the network the weights and weights and all are available you do not have to retrain them. So, if you actually push an image inside it you will get feature maps at all levels. Now, some of those feature maps people have found out are actually useful for certain applications ok. So, so when we when we kind of when we actually look at these architectures we should not be looking at them as simply trying to solve a classification problem though of course, that was the that was the main goal, but at the same time realize that these architectures are so general in the sense that you know the feature maps coming out of them even out of pre trained networks are useful. You can also of course, retrain them if you wish if you had enough number of examples for a particular problem ok that is uh, that is an aside. Now, one of the things that it does is right advocates you know, higher depth ok and uh, ok now what it does is. So, so it, it says so the idea right being that you use smaller small small filters, but then use a deeper layer. So, this is like kind of going back to a receptive field kind of thing right. For example, AlexNet had you see right I mean 11 cross uh, sort of you know 11 filter right at uh, the con 1 layer, which means that which means that a receptive field right I mean, is that large. Uh, but then you know, but their argument was instead of trying to have a receptor, I mean, have a filter that is that large. Why don't you have, let's say, multiple multiple layers with with smaller filters? For example, right, that's what you are seeing here, right? Three cross three, three cross three, three cross three. So 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 something like that. When you have okay, multiple multiple layers, three cross three, three cross three, three cross three. What will be the uh, if I have three such things? What will be the effective receptive field? 
that means this is the first guy, this is the second guy, this is the third guy, what, what will be the receptive field of this 7 cross 7, right. So, so the idea is that you know effectively the third guy will see a 7 cross 7 sort of a region and uh, though of course you know it is not the same as seeing uh, you know 11 cross 11, but if you look at ZF net that had 7 cross 7 filters, right. So, so their argument was primarily they were trying to say that instead of trying to use a large filter because then your unknowns even if you keep it a 7 cross 7, 7 cross 7 is still 49 unknowns, whereas 3 cross 3 right used to 3 tons is still roughly you know, know even kind of half that number right, not exactly half, but still pretty. So, so what they were trying to say was do not use large filters, try to use smaller filters, but then add add you know sort of depth okay into the this one network. That is the reason why it goes up to 16 to say 19 layers and uh, and it is not only the it is not not just that just just that right it is also that in terms of the accuracy final top error rate and all that you are able to bring it down. I mean that is why it the, the argument becomes stronger it is not simply a receptive field that you are trying to achieve with fewer uh, you know, with, with a fewer unknowns, but also the fact that all of this leads to an improved accuracy. So, they have like you know 3 cross 3 cons tried 1 pad 1 and all that right. Now, uh, so and then what else right is there and and of course, you know you might ask why did they stop at VGG 19 right? why did they not go to some VGG 25, 26 and all, but what they already found was again for the you know image net challenge ok, it did not make a big sort of a difference in jumping from 16 to actually 19. So, so whatever advantages they were they were uh, right they were able to get out of it you know having a deeper network kind of say flattened off right beyond 19. So, so you do not have something you know more layers than that and again these are all empirical right somebody has to do the studies to find out you know where you sort of where you sort of right hit that hit the hit the sweet spot in a sense. So, VGG 19 and then you know you do not you do not have more than that. Then um, is there anything else that I need to tell? So, more uh, again right I mean if you see uh, the number of uh, unknowns right actually pretty huge ok. Why? Because of the fact that you know you have uh, uh, VGG net right let me see. So, 120, 122 million right. So, the number of parameters it is actually 122 million that is like double that of Alex net right. So, number of I see parameters is 122 million ok and that is coming mainly right from this layer in fact I mean you no know, if you if you look at from going from here to here right this jump. Okay, if you see right, you got like three cross three con filter and then five hundred and twelve filters. I mean, then and, uh, and then if you try to, if you try to flatten that out, right, and then and then if you link it up with a with a with a with a four zero nine six fully connected layer, when you when you do the full connection, right, dire itself you incur about you know uh, about roughly hundred million or something, right. So so here itself, right, you are actually incurring a huge number. But that's okay. I mean, right by then GPUs had come and then you know it was not. I mean, computation was not such a big issue. So, you could like you, know, you could go from 60 million to 120 I mean, 100, what is that 122 million and still be able to sell the architecture because of the fact that the computational power was there and then you could actually bring down the bring down the error ok significantly. Because right beyond that I mean every every kind of little thing matters you see when you go when you jump from 25 to 16 that is a big jump, but then after that right it starts to flatten off 16 to 11 is very hard and 11 to 6 is far far more hard because right then once you once you come closer and closer to what you want to achieve get things become more and more hard and therefore, any sort of architecture that allows you to get there is okay. I mean you know provided it is uh, provided you know it you know it is kind of reasonable and and it makes sense. <laughs> so, and uh, and as I said right. So, so one can use the last F C layer or or the or the con layer for an abstract representation ok. You can also use that as an as an abstract sort of a representation. Okay, which basically means that like I said right you can actually use that as a feature for something else ok. So, you just you just push an image inside you get a you get a you get a feature for that and that feature right what you would like to do with that feature is entirely up to you, but then that is like that is like a succinct sort of explanation of that image right taking into account that you know that this network has seen millions of images and knows how to sort of how to how to arrive at a feature map ok. So, I think uh, so, so 7.3 percent top error ok in that challenge and uh, so it came down from 11.7 that was what you had for zf net and this when this vgg is actually a very very this one you know a well known sort of a network a popular network and you know people use it left and right so i think yeah so i think i've explained okay most of this fewer parameters deeper more nonlinearities but a fewer parameters in the sense that only in some places 
but then most of the this one uh, memory is in early con that means I mean you know the uh, so when you say this one memory that means the uh, no, 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 number of neurons right that is what we mean last time itself I think I told you but then uh, the this one the unknowns the parameters right I mean here is where when you jump from the fully connected from the con layer to the fully connected right there itself we are incurring something like 7 cross 7 into uh, into 512 into 4 so 100 million 102 million so here itself it is incurring a huge huge this one 122 million is what I have here but it says total parameter 138 million okay I think this has to be changed okay then uh, okay I think a second this is all okay I think you know 